we're now going to take a look at control of multi-element fixtures. So this is going to be particularly useful if, say for example, you've got a baton, or in this case here, a panel, that's got more than one element per fixture. So maybe it's got 10 elements or 25 elements, and you want to be able to control those individually. So to do this, in this case, we've got these Nexus panels here in the visualizer, which have five by five elements per panel, making up a total of 25 elements per panel. So by default, if I was to select these panels in the group window and press locate, we can see the whole panel is gonna come on as one. But what we want to do is to be able to control these individually. There's a couple of different ways of doing this. So first of all, if I select the group and then go to view elements at the top here, with the group selected, we can see every element within those fixtures. So I could say, select a few different elements like so, and press locate. And you can see just those elements are gonna come on on every fixture. The other way to do this is using the keypad. So if you're someone who prefers selecting fixtures using the keypad, there's again, a couple of different ways of doing it. You can either type the head number and then followed by a dot and then the element number or here I'm going to select the group so I don't need to type the head number and then just type for example dot one at at so it's dot and then the number of the elements you want to select and then two at symbols to select that element if I then press locate you can see just the first element of every panel comes on another way I can do this again if I select the group I could say go dot one through five at at locate and that's going to select elements one through to five on every panel and final example i'll use is dot one through five minus four at at locate and that's going to select elements one to five but without element four so that's how you'd select using the keypad as well if we want to create groups of these elements rather than having to select using the keypad or the view elements view every time, we can do that too. So if I go again, select and go dot one at at, and just record that as a group. And as a second example, I'll select them again and go dot two through five at at, and record that as a group there. I can now just select that first group I recorded of just element one and locate that. And you can see just element one is gonna come on on every one of those panels. And the same again with this second group I recorded, locate that, and that's a group with elements two to five recorded. So that's how you can select those different elements and record groups of those as well. The other thing we're going to take a quick look at is effects across multi-element fixtures. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to select my panels as a whole and locate those, and then go add effects. And I'm going to add a color effect. I'm going to add an RGB color effect. So what happens here with multi-element fixture is it gives you three different options. So we're going to take a look at all three of those options. The first one is duplicate elements. If I select this one, you'll see what's going to happen is the whole panel is going to change at once within that effect. So what that's doing is it's taking element one on each panel and it's duplicating it across the rest of the elements on that panel. So the whole panel is going to change together. I'll just clear that off. And again, select the fixture and add the effect. This time I'm going to select include elements. So what this is going to do is it's going to include all of the elements on every fixture. So it's going to run the effects across all of the individual elements, like so. Finally, again, I just go and show you the last option. I just go locate my fixture, add effects, color, RGB again. The last option is include elements synced. So what this does is again, it's running the effect across all of the individual elements, but it's syncing all of the fixtures together. So what's happening on element one on fixture one is going to happen on element two on fixture two and so on. So it's running the effect across the elements but syncing all the fixtures together so they're all running the effect in the same way. So that's a bit about multi-element head control and running effects across multi-element fixtures. We're now going to take a look at pixel mapping.